So welcome to session number three, building automation workflows. Uh, today we will learn all about automation on Omnisend. We will talk about automation statistics, uh, workflow overview on Omnisend. We will set up an omni-channel abandoned cart, and we will talk about best practices that our customers use. So why use automation in the first place? Uh, automation workflows, uh, they prove to have a much better engagement rate and order rate compared to the regular promotion campaigns. Workflows are automated and can make money while you sleep. And also they are trigger based and you can set them for various different events happening on your online store. You can trigger automation uh, for specific groups of contacts and time them right. So uh, I will quickly show you the statistics for the six top automation workflows on Omnisend. As we can see, um, automation open rates are way higher than the average email campaign open rates in the industry, which are approximately 20%. Uh, if we look into open and click rates for auto confirmation, welcome automation and custom automation, those have the greatest reach. Uh, if we take, if we look into order rates, uh, the winning workflow is welcome automation with a 3.02%, uh, then uh, follows abandoned cart and customer reactivation. In Omnisend, we recommend uh, beginning uh, with at least three automation workflows, uh, welcome, abandon cart, and order confirmation, and later adding customer reactivation and custom workflows. But more about uh, those ones in uh, best practices today. Right, so if we look into Omnichannel, and automation statistics prove that combining email with other channels like SMS, push notification, or Facebook Messenger that we have on Omnisend can have almost three times higher purchase rate than having email channel only. Uh, if you add SMS, uh, you can expect a 40%, 47.7% uh, higher conversion rate. Astonishing results. Um, Watch our success with Omnisend video on YouTube uh, channel selling more with SMS marketing uh, that is fully dedicated to best practices with SMS. Um, okay, uh, now we can uh, go into the different automations that we have on Omnisend. If you have your Omnisend accounts, you can go into the automation tab and click new workflow. Uh, you will see a selection of different automation workflow presets. Uh, those are built for the particular events that happen on your store. So the first group is subscribers. Uh, welcome automation is uh, designed to greet your customers who just signed up via the sign up forms on your store. Birthday workflow um, will help you share a birthday surprise with your customer. Uh, you will also be able to select uh, a birthday flow with one email as well as welcome or uh, three emails for welcome or one SMS and one email uh, for the birthday flow. Uh, those presets were actually designed to support the best practices that our customers use that work for our customers, but you can still um, add or remove messages while you are editing the flow. What is important here is that only subscribed contacts can receive welcome and birthday automation workflows. So second group is uh, so-called window shoppers. Uh, we, uh, we need to uh, encourage them uh, to buy the products that they viewed or added to cart. You will be able to select um, a specific uh, product or page that your uh, customer browsed, and we will send those automated messages for you. Uh, contacts don't need to be subscribed to the channel, but if they are unsubscribed, they will not uh, receive such messages. So you can see abandoned cart, product abandonment, and browse abandonment uh, automation workflows. 
third group is for buyers. And um, in other words, we call those um, messages transaction-related messages. Uh, you will send those uh, to confirm the order, uh, shipment to the customer, or to collect uh, some feedback. Important message here is that order-related emails, uh, such as order confirmation or shipping confirmation, will be sent even to the customers that decided to unsubscribe uh, to your promotions. So they will still receive order-related automations. Then we have a repeat buyer category that will help you sell um, more to the customers that recently bought something um, from your store. So for example, you can use cross-sell automation and offer a product that goes well with something that your customer recently purchased. You can use customer reactivation um, to encourage them to buy again after some time of inactivity. Uh, or order follow-up um, is a good opportunity to ask for some feedback about the recent order. And finally, um, a category called Other, uh, where you will be able to design a custom flow based on your needs. So it's only one flow, but you can uh, choose the different events or different um, audience group to trigger this automation. Uh, you can actually, um, as an example, uh, use custom workflow and um, trigger it based on some custom events happening on your store if uh, you, for example, have um, a subscription-based service. So that flow would be very useful for you. Uh, this way, you can really target uh, your audience. Uh, what is great uh, um, and it's important to mention with those presets is that uh, you can select one, but then you can change it the way you want. So you will always be able to change the trigger, um, add additional trigger or cancellation rules, uh, direct your workflow to a specific segment, um, remove or add different uh, channels to your workflow. So those presets are actually designed uh, to help you and not limit you. Uh, one of the things I also want to mention is that um, some automation workflows are triggered, um, all of the automation workflows are triggered uh, when a particular event happens, but uh, some of them can be triggered uh, after some time passes by using the delay block. So order confirmation, shipping cancellation confirmation, cross-sell customer reactivation, and order follow-up. So. Uh, how that works. Let's imagine that we create a customer reactivation workflow uh, today and we set a delay. We actually add a delay block of 30 days. In that case, customers who last purchased something uh, on your store 30 days ago will start receiving the messages. So use the delayed uh, to send messages related to orders that were made in the past. That's quite useful. Uh, and one more thing uh, that's very important to note is that Omnisend does not replace the default false, uh, the default flows that you have on your e-commerce platform. So when you begin using Omnisend automation, you should disable uh, those flows um, on your store to avoid sending duplicate messages to your customers. Uh, if your store is on Shopify, uh, some automated responses cannot be turned off. Um, like the example here, order confirmation. So uh, you will be able to replace that flow on Shopify with a simple thank you note uh, that you can design on Omnisend. Uh, find our dedicated article on the knowledge base uh, to help you replace uh, those different notifications that cannot be uh, disabled on your store. If uh, you want to check how your automation workflows um, are performing, you will find the statistics in Reports tab on Omnisend. You will see open click rates, uh, sales generated from each of the flows, and a lot more different um, data. But we will deep dive into reports in session five next week. So, so just a little bit about that. Okay. Um, Get your Omnisend accounts ready. Uh, we will create an abandoned cat workflow uh, together. Uh, so if you navigate to automation tab 
and click new workflow you then need to select shopper and choose the abandoned cart preset that you want uh, to create uh, i will open uh, the one with three emails and uh, one sms for today but uh, but you can play with other presets as well um, we can track abandoned carts in two ways. Uh, so via the checkout, uh, when the user proceeds to the checkout but uh, leaves without finalizing the order, or via the browser cookies we place. So after your customer subscribed using Omnison signup forms or clicked um, any link in the uh, Omnison newsletter. Uh, in the stats bar here, you will actually see information uh, f uh, about the last 30 days of the customers who entered uh, this workflow, exited, and who completed the flow. So customers will exit um, when they make a purchase or based on your cancellation trigger, if it's something different um, or, uh, for example, for different flows, but for abandoned cart, uh, the default cancellation uh, trigger is order placed. And uh, customers will complete the flow if uh, they receive all of the message, all of the messages in this flow and uh, do not make a purchase. Okay, so you can actually add uh, triggers. Um, this workflow is uh, triggered on, a, on abandoned cart, so it's added by default, but you can add additional uh, trigger rules uh, to send uh, targeted messages, for example, for abandoned cart that would be based on a specific product or a cart sum that uh, was abandoned. So, for example, you can choose different workflows uh, and have two abandoned cart workflows, one for bigger products uh, or more expensive products um, and the other one for uh, something uh, small. Uh, you can also target any flow to a specific audience group here and uh, and you can just you know adjust uh, just choose um, a specific segment or some contact properties for your audience and only that uh, audience will go into this workflow uh, as a default all of the contacts that will abandon um, a cart on my store will go into this workflow if I don't choose any audience uh, exit conditions, so you can adjust the exit conditions, but as I mentioned, order placed is uh, the cancellation uh, rule for this uh, workflow. What is important uh, here as well is the frequency of the emails. So uh, I would uh, recommend leaving this option enabled. Uh, do not trigger workflow for contacts who have already been in this automation. And you can choose the time frame. Uh, you can adjust uh, it for weeks or even months. Um, we recommend to have it on uh, so users are not spammed with uh, too many messages from you. So once uh, you're happy with the trigger, you can move on to the flow. And as you can see, uh, this flow is quite long. You can add uh, more um, channel, smart messages to the flow uh, using drag and drop uh, features. So if you want, you can add SMS here, for example. Um, as well as you can add uh, flow actions, such as a delay block, um, as I mentioned uh, before. Uh, in the preset, you can see that uh, those are already added. Uh, but if you want to add more messages and more delay blocks, feel free to do that. If you want to remove a block, you will be able to just uh, delete it from here. Um, you can also add tags. And uh, I will actually add a tag at the end of this workflow. And I will tell you shortly uh, why I would do that. Uh, this way, I will be able to later segment uh, contacts and target those customers who actually completed this flow. So uh, meaning they received all of the messages from my abandoned cart, but still did not place um, the order. So I, might, I will be uh, able to send um, um, another uh, email, uh, another trigger, another workflow uh, to those contacts, uh, maybe offer a bigger incentive and get them to buy. So adding a tag is very useful in some cases. Mm, let's just say uh, 
abandoned products no purchase okay I'll create it as new and update uh, you can also add a split in your message uh, anywhere in the flow and uh, this way uh, here we are let's say I will add it after the delay uh, after the trigger and uh, this way you will be able to split uh, your content based on the event or uh, the contact property so you can choose event or contact for example I will target uh, customers who left something for let's say a greater uh, sum than 100 uh, with a smaller discount let's say uh, compared to the ones that um, left something in the cart uh, for less than 100 um, and I can also um, target uh, the bigger spenders more actively with more messages uh, as an example compared uh, to the other ones like this so uh, using split uh, can really help you have one workflow but with different uh, conditions and uh, and that way you will not need uh, to create too many different workflows um, on your store and finally so i uh, i will not just uh, create the content this time so i'll just remove it for now and uh, finally you can also use uh, our a b split uh, test uh, to to test various aspects of your workflow like uh, subject lines, um, channels um, or different content um, that brings better sales for you. Uh, so you can also add it anywhere in the block. For example, let's say after the first message, I would like to check and you can split audience 50 50 that's recommended but you can also split uh, in different sizes um, and I want to check after the first message if uh, I send an email or if I send an SMS uh, which path is better and brings uh, more sales and you can see all of the stats directly uh, in the in the editor so that is great so uh, so yeah about the message uh, setting up the message uh, so what is important is of course to add all of the subject lines uh, pre headers and and uh, senders name uh, so you can add my sender's name as mentioned in um, in the first session uh, sender's name should be on your store's domain so not something gmail.com or yahoo.com but on your store's domain and you can add that in uh, store settings in chat in settings uh, channel settings so add sender's name verify and then you will be able to add it to your messages uh, once you have that information Okay. you will be able to move uh, to editing the content so let's say missed something go grab while it's there I'm just adding something so I could actually move to the next step and my name is basic piece so I want my customers to see that and one more important um, feature is um, pass non opted in contact to the next workflow step. So if you're using more than one channel in the flow, uh, keep this enabled. So in case uh, we don't have an S, um, uh, a phone number um, for your customer, I, he will automatically be moved to the next step and will still receive uh, the email from the workflow and vice versa. So if you're using more channels, keep uh, this setting on. Uh, so yeah, let's deep dive into the message so you can actually see uh, how that looks. So you will be brought to the uh, content editor just taking some time 
And in the content editor, so the messages that were already in the preset um, already have uh, the um, abandoned cart uh, product block. But since I added a new, uh, a brand new email message, I will add it here. Uh, this is a unique uh, product block and because you don't need to add products here. Those will be uh, automatically populated based on what your customer uh, leaves on the store. So you can still adjust, you can still uh, change um, change the things that you want to display in this content block as well as the button text. You can add more personalization. You can change settings and just see, for example, if you want uh, to show your products in one uh, column or more columns. Uh, you can see how you want this aligned as well as adjust the different texts and buttons. So for example, you can change um, colors uh, for your buttons, uh, make sure, uh, or the text, I'm changing the text here. Um, but, um, but what is important is that uh, each of your email um, reflects your store's design. So that way, uh, your customers uh, can really see the pattern uh, you're sending um, and can recognize you from just looking um, at that message. So a lot of different things that you can play with, a lot of different settings, um, as well as uh, some conditions. Um, once you are happy with the block, uh, just once again, the pictures, you don't need to add any images as well. Those will be populated automatically. Um, you can add a lot more different content blocks to your email. So for example, if this is the first email, uh, you might just leave some uh, simple text. Uh, for some reason, I have my footer at the top, but I can move it down. You can add just some simple text uh, inviting your customers uh, to make that purchase, uh, something that, uh, that they left behind. You can also um, add some personalization based on the information that you have, um, or uh, you can also add abandoned cart uh, link. Um, what, is, uh, what is important here is to mention that well, it really depends on how you do that. But if you're sending the third email, it's probably time to offer some uh, incentive just uh, to encourage them to really make that purchase. Uh, so you can add a discount code. Um, discount content block will be updated um, based, uh, based on um, what platform your store is on. So for example, if you are on Shopify, uh, we can just add uh, whatever code you generate, um, whatever code is generated on Shopify automatically. If, uh, if it's Shopify or Big Commerce, if it's um, any other platform, you can just um, add the code here manually. So there's also a good article on how to set up the discount content block on our knowledge base, check that. So once you're happy with your email and you're finished with a design, just click uh, save. Uh, you can save it as a template and uh, you will be able to use to reuse this um, email template later on in any automation or campaigns you can preview. And once you're happy, just uh, save and go back. Mm -hmm and you will be brought back to the automation editor where you can actually finalize your flow. So I'm just deleting the things that I'm not, I don't have enough time to change. So I could actually move to the final step. But for example, for SMS setup, you also need to make sure you add your uh, sender's name and finalize the content, add um, all of the unsubscribe options depending on where you're sending from. So once you are happy with all of the flow uh, as well as the messages, you can just click update and click start the flow. So after your abandoned cart is enabled, uh, it, uh, it should be warmed up. Uh, you need to spread as many cookies um, as possible and uh, 
And yeah, here we are. And send more newsletters, enable OmniSend sign-up forms. Uh, so day by day, the number of subscribers who have your tracking cookie will increase and you will catch more abandoned cards. If you want to test this workflow, uh, you can do that by placing a product uh, to the cart on your store, proceeding to the checkout and then abandoning the cart without making the purchase. And if you are testing more than once, don't forget to use the different uh, email addresses. Uh, and yeah, so uh, we are actually uh, at our final topic for today, best practices. So just um, let's view the most popular and best converting automation workflows that Omniscient customers use. So number one, of course, is the welcome email because it is expected and uh, it will likely be opened immediately. Uh, so tell your brand story via the free email sequence and start uh, building your community. You can also offer um, a discount for the first order with your email um, automation. Uh, abandoned cart. Uh, if customers change their minds uh, once while buying, so why can't they change their minds again and complete that purchase? Uh, we recommend setting up an abandoned cart sequence of either free emails if you're using only email channel or three emails plus SMS uh, or email uh, as in the example, uh, push notification and SMS uh, to get the best results. And uh, number three is order confirmation. It is essential to share the details about the recent uh, purchase. This message should be sent immediately after the purchase. And uh, remember, order confirmation proves to have great open rates. So having order confirmation automation will ensure great inbox placement for your promotions too. Uh, once you have those three major workflows up and running, um, add more to earn even more revenue and uh, you can upsell using shipping confirmation. Those messages are actually expected as well and uh, they are opened repeatedly so, so they stick to the memory. Why not to offer a small discount for their next uh, purchase? So you can use SMS only or you can use um, email plus SMS to get the most benefit. And number five uh, that our customers love is customer reactivation, of course. Uh, win back the customers who have not purchased in a while. Uh, new products, uh, smart recommendations, or some incentives can be enough to win those customers back. So in our example, we send an SMS first after 30 days of inactivity and invite them uh, to check uh, the email for the discount so we can send an email right away. Um, this way, uh, we can win uh, some email openers as well as purchasers too. So um, win-win in this situation. Um, and yeah, key takeaways of this uh, session. So uh, automation open rates are much higher compared to the email campaign open rates. Customers are more engaged with automation messages. That's why you should start with automation and then continue to promotional campaigns. Uh, using Omnichannel uh, can actually um, earn you three times higher purchase order rate, uh, purchase or order rate. Uh, start with email and SMS blocks in one sequence and then add push notification or Facebook messenger and watch your revenue grow. Uh, abandoned cart um, will win back the customers you lost. Uh, so it has one of the highest order rates, 2.35% uh, uh, from all of the automation workflows available. Our customers report abandoned cart as one of the best ways to, to increase their revenue. And uh, finally, we recommend you to start with welcome automation to introduce your brand and offer incentive to your new subscribers. Uh, then abandon cart uh, to win back the visitors who left the cart and purchased. And order confirmation workflow to provide customers with all of the details about their order. So free flows. Once you have those running, add shipping confirmation for upselling, customer reactivation to win back the customers who did not purchase in a while 
and custom flows for any custom events or specific segments. Right, um, that is it for today. I hope you found uh, this automation session useful. I wish to see you in the next live onboarding uh, sessions. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to use our self-service knowledge base or contact our support team via in-app chat, Facebook Messenger, or support at omnisend.com. We are here to help 24-7. Thank you and have a wonderful day.